I'll start with an apology. I have a bit of a cold, so excuse the throaty voice. I bought this some while ago, and I've only recently got around to unpackaging it. So I thought I'd share the uh, unboxing with you. Came well packed, well padded, in a nice white box. And the components inside the box came in anti-static packaging, which is uh, very reassuring. So let's have a look at these cables and the board itself. So the board, anti-static package, really nicely constructed board, nice neat soldering, nice clear screen printing. Manual, bit chinglish, but there are some good videos online on how to use this system. The cables again in an anti-static package. Decent gauge wire, silicon wire, really good. Good copper connectors. These are obviously the touch probes that the welding takes place with the little spot welders. And those cables are about 12 inches long. These are the battery cables, and these are about 8 inches long, as you can probably see from the scaling on there. So, yeah, those are about 12 inches long. Came with some nickel strip. Whether it's nickel or nickel plated, I don't know. I'm not sure about the thickness, but I will put it on the video. And some heat shrink tubing for the probes, because you don't want to be holding onto those when it's whacking a huge amount of current through them. I'll probably put a second layer on. Came with some decent quality nuts and bolts, six of each. And that's what ties in with the package. Doesn't give you exact numbers on the nuts and bolts, and a wiring diagram. Now, as you'll see, I didn't really follow this, I wasn't really paying attention. But it's fairly simple. I've sped this up because it's not particularly interesting. But as you can see, they're, they're decent quality nuts and bolts. Really good contact surfaces. And I'm making a bit of a mistake here as well. I'll show you why in a moment or two. Obviously, both the the battery in and the positive probe share the same contact so I needed to have wired those together initially. Now what's quite interesting here is the angle of those wires as you can see the positive probe and the negative probe are actually pointing in opposite directions so what I'm going to do in a moment or two is just reverse that negative probe so that the two probes point in the same direction and they're not working against each other. There we go. So that's quite a neat little setup really. And that's what it looks like when it's all wired up. Not particularly big. I'm putting the heat shrink on the probes. Not something you want to watch in detail, so I'll speed this a little bit up. But this is necessary, yeah, don't skip this bit. You know, get a nasty shock of these probes when you're uh, when you're dealing with them. As I say, I'll probably double insulate mine. And there we go, that's the finished product. Cracking, I'll let you know how it performs. Thanks for watching, bye.